안녕하십니까? 니콜라스 입니다. And in this video, I want to share with you 10 Google Chrome extensions that you can use right now to become a more productive web full stack developer. These extensions I've been using for a long time. And also many people have been asking me what extensions do I use? I use many extensions, but I wanted to share my top 10 most used with you. Now, these extensions work for Google Chrome or any Chromium based browser, for example, Google Chrome or Brave browser or Vivaldi browser and even Naver will. I personally am a user of Brave browser and they work perfectly for me. So let's get started. Extension number one is called Colorzilla. Colorzilla, like Godzilla, allows you to basically pick any color of the page. That's basically it. It's super useful when you are cloning websites, when you want to get the color code of an uh, element, you just Click on Colorzilla, select the, the element, and that's it. You get the color code, you can copy many formats. It's super, super useful, like I said, especially when you are cloning websites. Number two is called Momentum. Momentum basically replaces your new tab. Every time you open a new tab on the browser, you just basically get a very beautiful background photo. You also get a message like, hello, Nicholas, what do you want to accomplish today? And also you get a very tiny to-do list that you can use to basically write your tasks for the day. Super useful, keeps me productive, beautiful photos, perfect. Number three is called CSS Viewer. CSS Viewer allows you to see the CSS of any element on the page. Sometimes when you go to a website, you want to see how the CSS is made. Instead of going to right click, inspect and check out all the elements until you find the CSS, you can use CSS Viewer and it shows you a better way, basically the whole CSS of one element. Super useful as well when you're cloning websites like I do. Number four is called JSON Viewer. JSON Viewer allows you to see JSON in a beautiful way. This is because on the browser, when you go to a website that has JSON or a REST API or any JSON file, it looks really bad. It looks like just text, which is what JSON is. But if you use JSON Viewer, you can make it look better. It looks pretty. It looks like beautiful. You can even close some objects, open some objects. It's super, super useful if you work with REST APIs. Number five is React Developer Tools. React Developer Tools is super useful. It's like a must. If you a React developer. It basically allows you to see your whole application, how it's mounted, which components are mounted, the state, the props, who sent the props, the context, everything. Allows you to see everything of your React.js application. It's super useful, like I said, if you're a React.js developer. If you are a developer and you haven't used it, please use it. I think you will love it because you literally can see everything that's happening on your application. Super, super useful, especially for debugging. Number six is called what font. What font allows you to find the font that a website is using. That's basically it. Super simple, but it's very useful. Instead of doing right click, inspect element and just look into the font family and all that stuff, you can just use what font and you can find literally exactly which text is using what font. Very useful again, if you use like a font or if you're like me that you're cloning websites and you want to be as accurate as possible. Cool. The next one is Page Ruler Redux. Page Ruler Redux allows you to draw rulers on the website. You can draw squares and measure spaces and do all that stuff in your website. It's super useful when you are working with grid columns or when you are working with spaces, margins, and you want to measure that all the space is equal. And if you are really obsessed with pixel perfect, it's super, super useful. You can measure the height, you can measure the width. It's very, very useful. Page Ruler Redux, I use it all the time. The next one is called Build With. Build With allows you to see what a website is using. That's it. Basically, you can go to Build With, you can say Spotify, for example, and it might show you Spotify is running React.js, Spotify is using jQuery, maybe it's the backend is Ruby on Rails, maybe it's Django, maybe Node.js. Build With basically takes a lot of information from the website, from the headers of the server to the scripts that they are loading, all that stuff. It combines it and it shows you a report of what the website that you're currently on is using. It's very useful if you are curious to know what your favorite website is using. Very, very cool. The next one is Altair GraphQL Client. Altair GraphQL Client is awesome if you are a GraphQL developer and you are basically sending many queries as a test or whatever. It's super, super cool. Usually when we are developers, we are working mostly on the GraphQL Playground that comes with our server. But if you use Altair, actually the experience is so much better. Authentication is better. You can even send files. You can also do validation. The way you add variables is better. You can save some recipes. It's super, super cool. I recommend if you're a GraphQL developer, go and check out Altair because I really, really think that you're going to enjoy it. And last but not least, if you are a GraphQL React developer, then Apollo Developer Tools is a must, a must, must that you need to have. Apollo Developer Tools shows you the state of the data of your application. You can see the cache, you can see the queries that you run, you can see the mutations that you run, you can even run 
queries and mutations on your cache by yourself is super, super useful. You can see all the entities on your cache. It's just so, so cool. I use it all the time and it's such a time saver. And that's it for this video. But before I go, I want to recommend and promote the browser that I've been using. I've been loving it and I think you will like it as well. And that is the Brave browser. I'm not getting paid by anybody to say this, but I just really like Brave browser and I think you will like it as well. Brave browser is just like Google Chrome because it's based off Chromium. So all the APIs work there, all the extensions work as well but it basically doesn't have all the Google part that Chrome has. They don't have all these pine things and the cookies and the following that Google do. You get the best of Google Chrome without having to give up your data to Google. And that's it for this video. Let me know on the comments what is the extension that I forgot to mention. What is your favorite extension? Please recommend it to me. I'm always shopping for extensions, always looking for something that will make my developer experience better. So please leave it in the comments and let me know what you think of my list. Don't forget to leave a like. Please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And that's it. Don't forget to be happy today. Don't forget to eat kimchi. I'm Samnida. See you in the next one. Stay safe. Bye-bye.